What's up, Ridger Nation? Welcome back to another Road to 100 World of Westley. Wait a minute, what? Uh, it's it's just Road to 100. We're we're getting you to it. What's happening? I don't know. We are on our way up to Logan's Peak today. It's gonna be a slow, long climb. What yeah. are the beats of this trail? It's gonna be a tough one. 4,000 feet or so, over six miles on the climb and then six mile descent right back down. Gonna get dark on us, but it should be a fun adventure. Hoping to see a minimal mountain lion cougar status <laughs> uh, during this descent. Two and a half miles into this climb. John, how you feeling? Feel good. I like the burning, but it's a good burn. It's a good little climb we got here. Super consistent, pretty same grade all the way up. You can see here, there's a Bear 100 flag marker because the runners actually take off uh, for the Bear 100 tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So we're out here the night before making sure the course is marked, you know what I mean? We gotta make sure Everything's in good condition. These trails are in perfect shape for all those runners. So I was like freaking out for a second because I was like, you know, on the call with Cam and I look over to see this big black animal. Definitely thought it was a moose, but uh, just some cows hanging out. Hey, appreciate you, Bob. So we're four miles into this. Wesley is back there getting the drone out. Hopefully if that's on. And I'm just getting a little head on him, which he'll catch up. He's much more acclimated to this than I am. So, but four miles, just over 3,000 feet climbing. About a mile and a half ish to the top with another thousand five hundred feet of climbing. Then some quick picks, enjoy the beautiful top, start moving back down before it gets too dark. I did bring the headlamps and the jackets since it will get cold very quickly once the sun goes down. But having a blast, pushing, but it's fun. It's the type of fun that I like right here. This Ohio kid can climb some mountains. Got the GoPro on. John, how's the descent going? We're killing it. We're crushing this downhill. You can kind of see the Logan lights off in the distance if I turn my headlamp the other way. But, uh, yeah, we're all halfway down and uh, feeling groovy. So, uh, Wesley and I both suck at closing out um, vlogs. <laughs> so we got to the top, um, shortly after that um, four mile piece, we climbed up to the rest of the top of the mountain. It was like almost three hours, two and a half hours to get to the top or something like that. 4,500 feet of climbing, six miles pretty much on the dot to get to the top and it was beautiful up there. The last climb was absolutely brutal. It was like 400 feet and half a mile or something. It was it was rough, um, but we made it to the top. And then at the top, it was super dark. So we really didn't get very much video or pictures. We didn't even think about it. We just kind of were up there for about 15 or so minutes. And there was a, it's actually funny, as we were getting to the top, this little ATV unit drove up next to us. And uh, these two older gentlemen were very confused as to why we decided to climb the mountain instead of just driving to the top. But, you know, climbing's better. So we turned around, we started to head back down um, and we were moving pretty quick to get warm again because it got pretty cold at the top, obviously. You know, brought our Houdini jackets so that, that was, kept us warm at the top. Got moving, got moving back down. 
got to the finish, which was the car at the bottom of the hill. Um, no wildlife on the way down besides this one little bird that was just sitting in the middle of the trail and didn't want to move. Just didn't, it just sat there and stared at us. Didn't want to go nowhere, but eventually uh, we turned our headlamps off and it flew away. Uh, I think it was just blinded by us. But awesome run, super, super crazy. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculously how long it takes to climb up that and then how long it took to come down, which obviously is gonna get less, but totally different, you know, totally on the level versus what happened on the, the Jardine Juniper Trail from Tuesday or Wednesday with only 20, 2,100 feet of climbing versus 4,500. 4, it was just a whole different game. Um, absolutely amazing. So super excited about that. So when we were climbing uh, Logan's Peak, I was supposed to talk about some topics in terms of uh, what I've been trying uh, lately and what I have coming up. So let's go over those real quick and this will close out this episode. Since Burning Rivers ended, I have uh, done a lot of research on blisters, different types of socks, um, different types of ointments and things to put on. And currently right now, I did a couple long runs where I had done toe socks and I had done um, like squirrel nut butter on one or the happy toes on one foot and uh, salty bridges on another and just see you know how my feet felt for the long, long mileage, what was like working and what wasn't. And right now what I've seen, to, what seems to work the best for me is the salty britches with the Njinji socks. That seems to work really, really well. My feet feel really good doing that. Uh, obviously the speed goods feel really good. I think the challengers were a problem, uh, not a shoe that I want to use for uh, really long distance races, more of a half or shorter, but the speed goods are definitely, you know, good for long distance. I didn't, you know, Warhammer in those start to finish didn't change anything. Um, Warhammer I ended up using darn tough socks, which worked really well too. So, but I think that day my feet were wet enough the whole day through all the stream crossings that nothing ever really dried out to get blistery. Um, so that's, I think what worked out there, but the Ninji socks and the Salty Bridges uh, works out really well. Um, that came recommended from the Salty Bridges came recommended from Jamie Oney. Um, so I appreciate that. And hopefully that works out well for me for Canal. Celebrating its three year anniversary on Sunday the 26th. I cannot believe that three years ago, Michael, Wesley and I sat down and made the rundown. <laughs> We've never even released the first episode, the pilot episode number zero never got posted. It was so bad. Uh, maybe one day we'll post it or we'll pull some some BTS from that one from all the bloopers. Crazy. So, yeah, for our three year, uh, Cam, Wesley, and I will be in the Tetons celebrating, having a blast all weekend. We're going to do a bunch of climbing. We're going to do a bunch of running, and we're going to document all of it. So I've already signed up for another 100. I have Canal Corridor 100 on I think October 9th. Wesley will be out there with me, so check out footage from that. Uh, he'll be posting updates on Instagram and of the sort when we're out there running. So, super excited about that. I couldn't waste the training bed that I had gotten from Burning River. I said, you know, I'm, it's there. I was like, I'm gonna go for it again. So, I'll be going for 100 distance again in October, and hopefully uh, this one turns out better than the Burning River attempt. So, looking at my strategy coming into Canal Corridor 100, my plan is to try to still finish in 24 hours. I would like to keep a good 14 kind of minute pace, um, but not by slowing down my running too much. I kind of want to stick with a 10, 30, 11 pace with my running as I feel that that's the most efficient for me and it feels the most natural and comfortable. So I'll stick with that pace and then just put in walking in between to kind of bring the pace down to a 14 minute average. Um, I'm gonna keep that as long as I can. I'm sure near the end, I'll be less running and more walking. Um, if I'm still running, I would be super stoked about that. Uh, I get pacers around 50, so I think I'm gonna have probably my sister and then my fiance will both pace and then probably Wesley will finish out with me. Um, it'll be nice to have someone who's got definitely the 100 mile experience near the end to actually you know, help motivate me and guide me through the finish line. Um, I'm super happy about that. Hoping for a 24 hour finish. I think that would be amazing. I think I can do it. Um, I have a good training base still from Burning River that I haven't lost any fitness since then. Um, 
So I think we'll be able to get it done and be able to cross that off my bucket list. So that's this episode. Thanks everyone who's watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the footage from Logan's Peak. That climb was amazing. I would highly recommend it if you're out here to, to do that. Um, the, what else we got going on? Look out for our footage coming up next week from the Tetons. That'll be coming out sometime next week or the week after. Um, we're super stoked about that. It's gonna be Cam, Wesley, and I hanging out, just have fun in the Tetons. So, gonna be a good time. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I forget where it's at. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. It truly helps the channel out um, and allows us to know what we're doing and what you guys like that we're doing. So, gives us guidance and direction as we grow the channel. So, we appreciate it. And on that note, I will see you all in the next couple days as another vlog comes out with uh, some footage from details. Hi, everybody.